Devin from Books by the Dozen and today I thought I would do the to be read book jar video or I guess they just call it book jar video. So far I've seen Sarah Jane from Mother F and Books and Rincey from Rincey Reads um, do this video. And I thought it was a good idea especially since I have a ridiculous amount of unread books. Um, there's a reason why I haven't done the unread books tag because I'm a little bit embarrassed by the amount of unread books that I've done so I thought this was a good idea because I do find myself kind of um, stuck whenever I'm trying to figure out what book to read because I have so many to choose from. Sorry. So I have a jar. I'm trying to figure out what to do with it. I have a jar. I know a lot of people have been um, writing down the, uh, the books that you haven't read and putting them in the jar on pieces of paper. Uh, but I decided that I would just go to Goodreads because I have all of the books that I own and haven't read yet in a different category. And so I went ahead and changed the view to the book covers and I printed out all of um, the books that I have but haven't read in their little cover form, which will be good because it'll also make smaller pieces of paper and since I have so many, I don't want to fill up the entire jar. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and cut these out. Okay, so I finally finished. That took way longer than I thought it was going to. And I actually had to switch jars in between because there was no way all of the books were going to fit in there. So I'm actually using my Disneyland jar that I painted a few years ago. And I usually keep changing, but I just transfer the changeover. And this thing is literally almost full. That's ridiculous. So yeah, I guess I'm going to... I don't know. At least this one I can also put my hand in. The other one I couldn't. I'm going to go ahead and pick a book because um, I'm still in like a reading slump and I don't know why. I've started reading all three of these, I don't know if you can see them, but The Miseducation of Cameron Post by Emily D. Da Emily D. Emily M. Danforth, uh, The Elite by Kira Cass, and The Body Finder by Kimberly Durding. And all of them are okay. Um, I don't know why I haven't finished them and I might finish these before I actually read the book that I choose, but we will see. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and choose a book, which will be the next one I read after I finish those. That's just going to be, you can't probably can't tell what this says, but um, All My Sons by Arthur Miller. Hold on. It's actually right here. This, which is actually a very short play, so that'll be interesting. I was supposed to read this for a uh, English class that I was taking that I ended up dropping. So... Yeah, at least I'll put this to good use after I bought it for school. Alright, so yeah, so that is my book jar video. Um, I really like this idea and I'm glad I did it. I think it'll um, make me broaden my horizons and actually read the books that I've bought instead of just sticking to one genre or one theme or whatever. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. I will see you later. Bye.